Hello and welcome to a new video. Uh, in this video, I want to make a skirt, but like a photo shoot skirt, like long and flowy and not very practical in real life because the skirt is going to touch the floor. It's going to go all the way down. It's going to be beautiful in a photo shoot. I actually booked a photo session with another photographer. So you're going to see me wearing it um, and the final images. But also I want to add it to my client closet because skirts are always pretty whether the lady is pregnant or not. Uh, just given birth, you can wear it really high, like a crop top. Uh, you can wear it like underneath the belly. Tall people, I want it to hit the floor. I don't want to see any feet unless you lift up the skirt or start twirling around. Shorter people, it's going to be on the earth, the skirt. It's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be beautiful, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use my lock machine like this, and I have an older sewing machine which I inherited from my grandmother. So I'm gonna see if I can get that thing to work. Uh, I have some beautiful fabrics uh, in two different, well, three different colors, four actually. One I'm using for the camper now. Um, but I have like this rusty red color, I have like a dusty pink color and I have pure white. And I think I'm gonna use the rusty red and then I might make a dress for like my daughter who's eight out of the dusty pink uh, fabric. The fabric is cool. It's actually what I'm wearing right now as well. It's so soft. It's called like mousseline, I think. But here we call it like a hydrofil. So even like for babies, a lot of the uh, square like fabrics that you put on the changing table made of this material. It's very breathable, it's cotton. Um, it shows like natural wrinkles, but it's kind of like a linen structure, the one that I got as well. So it's beautiful. It's really nice to work with. So I'm going to draw some, a few different designs because I have some designs in my head, which I think are manageable to make. I'm not like a professional dressmaker. Um, so I'm going to draw them out on paper and then I'm going to choose which design I'm going to uh, follow for my skirt. Um, and I'll show you. So I think I have like four designs in in my head. I'm just gonna draw them and then um, see which one I'm going to make. I wanna anyway start with like a bend here on top that has elastic inside. So it's gonna show some of the uh, wrinkled fabric. Okay. So what you often see in skirts is that you have a top part. Then there's like a little line here. Then you have like a second part. But it has a... Uh, and then there's like a third part. So it can be like that. Consisting of a few parts. And here the fabric is like wrinkled. It's design number one. It's actually what I'm wearing right now as well. I'm going to show you later. Then design number two, what I could do is here at the top have the same elastic bend. Then I could have buttons because uh, of course I want to dress a skirt that is long and flowy. So it could actually consist pretty much like all the way down buttons. So you can leave parts open and it's very long. So it could be design number two. Right now it looks like pants, but it's a skirt. Now we've got design number three. It can consist of like panels where you start small and then go bigger. And then like several one of these like connected to each other. I don't know if that makes sense. Now here, of course, you have the elastic band in the top. You have all these different parts that will make the skirt big and flowy as well. And then you have, instead of like horizontal lines, you're gonna have like vertical lines. And it can be a very big skirt. And here, just elastic again. And then design number four could be where you have like an elastic in top, of course, 
then it's like going wider to the bottom and then here you have another extra layer to make them even wider so here the fabric is like wrinkled and maybe here a little bit as well because otherwise your butt doesn't fit, fit in i don't have more to draw on but of course you can also have a design number five where it's like a wrap skirt so you start with the really long ribbon and then just like a piece of fabric which can have like can run bigger like this you wrap it around or it can consist of panels as well to make it look bigger i think i want to go for this one i like that one too but i think i'm gonna go for this one i don't know if you can see but i found a really cool web website it's called freesewing.org and this is a sandy uh, skirt so if i choose like a size not quite sure let's go for a size medium then here you have a pattern but you can also um, make adjustments uh, let's say i want it extra long there you go i don't want it to be as wide on the top so the percentage of a circle you want the skirt to be maybe not 50 percent but like 30 percent and then like you can go with the waistband width you can do whatever seam allowance you can have it with all the measurements so you don't print it because um, then if I start with this make it longer and then add like the ruffles in the bottom I have a good starting point so let's go with this so here you see the actual skirt however uh, it's not with elastic in the top it's with like zippers I think or like a button here you can see people who made it but I think I want to have like stretchy top so I should probably make it bigger and then I can add like an elastic okay so instead of going for normally i would go for a small state or like 36 usually 38 maybe now i'm gonna go for maybe 42 and then go from there so we want more length definitely and we want less of a circle maybe like 30 percent I know my printer can handle this, but we'll see. Yeah, and then waistband. I want to have like a bigger waistband. I don't know, like four centimeters. No, four centimeters should be enough. Um, okay. I look, also can put the waistband higher. or I think like this should be fine. Export pattern. A4. How many pages is this? Okay, that's going to be like, how many pages? 61 pages. Hmm, okay. Okay, that's such a waste of paper. Here you can see the pages. Because on all these pages here, there's nothing. It's only for the waistbands, but you can make that up yourself. So I only need these pages, actually. Um, how am I going to do that? Okay, so I need these pages. So I put them in here. So we hit page 1 to 7, then 13 to 19, then 25 to 31. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Okay. Let's um, make them all together. Okay, so this is the pattern. Um, I think as far as waist size, it's good. I can put elastic in it. I can just fit around my waist, but look how long it is. I think it's already onto the floor. So um, I don't need to use ravels in the bottom or I can just make it shorter. Um, okay. <laughs>
Okay, so I got my pattern. Um, I don't think I have enough fabric though. Okay, it's for sure very long. I'm just gonna try on my pattern. So it's all the way to the floor. I think it's just about big enough to fit over my hips. They were a little bit higher, so it's gonna be with elastic. So I think the size is perfect because it's onto the floor, but not too long so I don't can trip over. Uh, so I don't need to make ruffles at the bottom, so I might just leave it like this. Um, I'm just going to put some uh, tape on the back side as well. So I have these two beautiful materials. And I was thinking about making it in this like rusty red color, but I just don't have enough of each. I got two meters of each. They're 140 long. Um, so in theory, if I fold this double because I need it twice, it should be the size. But it's not. It's not big enough. Look. Or I need to make the dress uh, shorter. Uh, I can't even get the whole skirt out of the fabric. Well, I can. I have it like this. So I need to order this again. So I don't have the red fabric now, but I still want to make something. So I think I'm just going to freestyle. I am going to leave the bottom like this. I like that of the dress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pattern that I just made for the top part. Then here in the bottom, I'm going to make it probably just the way it is. I'm just going to see what it looks like if I put elastic in the top. Um, and have, of course, the, the, the sides come in a little bit. Um, I'm just going to see what I can do with this pink fabric. I just want to start making something. <laughs> and before I completely ruin the red brick fabric and the pattern is not okay, I want to use this fabric to kind of like test the pattern to see if it's... Uh, if the waist is big enough, if that works with the elastic. So probably I'm just going to go from here straight to the bottom. And then maybe have like a split so that I can still walk. So what I'm going to do first is cut this fabric into two pieces. I'm thinking maybe I don't have to make this lower because I'm going to use elastic anyway. So what I'm just going to need is like this size, which of course I will be small. And then here. And I'll just go from this point to the bottom. Kind of like a straight line. Here you go, my skirt. I like it. Okay, so I'm just gonna place this on top of the other piece of fabric and cut it out as well. Honestly, I should be having lunch now because I need to pick up my kids in less than an hour um, and I need to empty the dishwasher and stuff. But I'm too excited to start on my um, freestyle skirt, the pink one. So I'm just going to close up one side, I think. Then, I don't know, fold over the top where the elastic comes in. And then do the other side. I don't know. Is that does that make sense? Or first make the top? No, first you have to close up one side. Okay, I'm gonna use white thread because I don't have pink. This is just gonna be a fun project for myself. Um, I'm just curious to see what it will look like. There we 
we go. Okay, too quick sight. I'm just gonna film you fast now. So of course the seam looks a little bit fluffy like this. So I might have to like iron it later. Make it does to make it look less poofy. Anyway, so here we go. It'll be tight, probably the, the top part here. I'm not quite sure. So I need a split, definitely. But I love that it's long. That's what I love. But I'm just gonna sew it close because I don't wanna have the seam in the butt anyway. The seam needs to be on the side, like this. So then I can always make a split, maybe in the front. Okay, so for the top, if I want to use the lock machine, I'll fold it double like this, then I'll fold it double again, and then I sew it here on this line. Should I put pins in? I should, right? I hate it when the, the elastic inside starts twisting, so I don't know how, but I'm going to secure it a little bit. At some if you want, I want to get elastic in a very small thing, get a safety pin. The safety pin is easier to maneuver through the hole. It's okay. Now I can close down the skirt completely and then see where I can make a split and if I'm going to make a split or just have it on the side. But then I elastic as flat as possible, so I'm just gonna sew it closed. So I'm going to sew up these parts by hand so that the ribbon part is like really smooth on the inside as well. Googling skirt and split on Google and like all the splits are not on the side of the dress but a little bit in the front like where the leg is actually coming out. So I might just close down the whole skirt and then see what it looks like. And then I can always cut a split um, somewhere where the leg moves forward. And I don't know if I want to make ruffles in the bottom. But for now, I'm just going to close down the whole skirt and see what it looks like. Okay. I don't know if what I'm doing makes any sense, but I'm just going to iron the seams to, to make them more flat okay so this is the situation now of course this is going to be closed and now it's to the floor i want to wear it with a crop top but a different type of crop top okay so i wish i had extra material because then i would uh, sew on a completely extra uh, layer like ruffles in the bottom so what i'm going to do which i might regret i'm going to cut off the bottom part and then sew it back on but like a little bit more with ruffles if that makes sense which of course i cannot make that many ruffles because the fabric is pretty much the same size as what i'm cutting off how am i going to do it i need to cut a part out from in between so I can create some ruffles. Okay, the skirt needs to be to hit the floor 1 meter 12 or 1 meter 11 from the top. Um, it is currently 122. So I can take 10 centimeters out and then add the ruffles onto the bottom. Or I can wait until I have more of the pink fabric and then create like ruffles in the bottom. Normally, if I have a lot more in the bottom, I could use pins to pin it on or I can sew a thread through and pull it a little bit tighter and then sew it on so it has some natural ruffles. I might just do that. Uh, or I'll just go and then once in a while, I'll ruffle one in. Maybe I'll go with that. 
because I have other stuff to do and I don't have that much more time. sewn a sash. Uh, these are the parts that I cut off in the bottom, just sewn them together and then closed and then inside out. So I'm gonna wear this one around. I think that will be nice. So I ordered some items on Vinted <clears throat> and one of the, I wanted to order like a crop top that would be pretty tight and like ending somewhere underneath my ribs. Yeah, probably. So I ordered some on Vinted, of course hard to see on the image how they are. I really like this material. I like that it has sleeves, but it's a little bit too long and it's too wide. So I'm going to make it smaller and shorter. I have something really awesome here. Um, it is a very old, very special sewing machine. Um, I actually still have the receipt here, the original receipt. And the woman who bought it uh, was my grandmother. The 21st of November, 1962 so she paid it in like installments she didn't pay it, pay it all at once so it's very special so i have to be very careful with it um so yeah the sad part is is that my grandmother passed away unexpectedly um like a few months ago so here we go a beautiful antique apparently very good sewing machine little outfit update so I made the top uh, shorter and slimmer and now it is like this I don't know if you can see I like it so there was like a thicker uh, seam in the back as well and I took it out and I made my own seams it's not perfect it's okay and now I want to cut a split in the skirt and I think it's gonna be from knee upwards so here pretty much oh, i think i'm gonna go for the left knee this one i think i think i might have to make it a little bit higher the splits up to here Okay, I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> okay, little update. This one didn't fit in most of my power outlet sockets, whatever. And now I have this one. Uh, so I'm gonna try and plug it in and it's the moment of truth. Well, there you go. We had light. So first I'm gonna try and get some of my thread on the spool. So let's do that. Okay, it works. Of course, this is not made for the sewing machine. This is for the lock machine, but I want to use this color. But anyway, it worked. Oh, nice. Okay, it's a little bit too tight. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to finish the skirt. I cut open the split, and I'm just going to fold the edges inwards and then uh, sew it closed. And also, this is the sash that I have, like the belt kind of thing that I have around my waist. And of course, I had to like sew it, put it inside out, so one side is still open. So I'm going to cut it shorter and then uh, sew it close so it doesn't have these raffles, raffled edges. Oh, I can't wait to sew a dress for my daughter.
tonight we're going to have a photo session. I'm wearing this, and then my daughter will be wearing that. My boyfriend will be wearing this, and my son's outfit is still <laughs> drying outside. So this is the t-shirt my son will be wearing, and then his shorts. He also wore them uh, with the cake smash, um, so I had to wash them, but they're dry already. So as you can see, we did a lovely photo session with Emily. It was such a beautiful location. The sunlight was amazing, and she's a wonderful photographer. Um, I felt really beautiful in the skirt and I think the skirt looked really pretty in the photos. We love the photos, we printed them and they're all over the house. I really recommend doing a session with your family, whether you're a photographer or not. Just book a session with a photographer and go for like a golden hour uh, family session, it's great. Um, so yeah, I've linked the website where you can make the patterns in the description of the video. Let me know, are you going to make a skirt yourself? Uh, I'd love to read your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. And uh, yeah, you can see me in my next video or follow me on Instagram. Bye bye.